Hello everybody, this is uh, Josh Johnson and I just wanted to talk about some of the preference settings inside of Synthize. Mainly, you can set um to a Y up, you can set it to a Z up, or to like a Y, Y up left, which is light wave and I believe Cinema 4D. And these, these deal with uh, the axis settings. So, I'm going to give you guys an example instead of just talking about it. So here's the shot, it's just match moved. Uh, it's just a helicopter kind of overhead shot, and I placed a building here um, just as, you know, for proxy geometry to test the track. And you can see on the left, kind of the same thing. And it looks pretty good. It was a low air track, I believe. And now you can see the coordinate system I set up here. If I click on this, uh, that's the origin I set, and I just used the little asterisk uh, three coordinate synthize tool to set up the coordinate system nothing too tricky so here's the origin and I made this point on the X I left it at the default 20 and you can see here is the third point and that is on the X Y plane okay so here's something I can show you to make a little more sense out of the whole Y up Z up and everything like that okay if you look at my scene coordinate axis settings it's on the Z up max and it's on the XY plane. I have this uh, track point selected. It's on the XY plane. So pay attention to this panel area right here. When I change it to Y up left light wave, you will see that change interactively. Okay, there we go. So it changed to this point being on the XZ plane as opposed to the XY plane. Okay, one more thing I can show to help illustrate the point here. Okay, we're back on the Z up max, and that changed back to the X, Y plane. But also, you'll notice, in my left view over here, you can see the Z is pointing up, and if I change that to the Y up left, to the light wave setting, you will see that change interactively as well, so pay attention to right here now. Y up left, there you go. Not only did it change the to the XZ plane instead of the XY plane, it also went ahead and figured out that since I'll be working in Lightwave or Cinema 4D in my case, the Y is pointing up, and that makes sense. That's what we want. And I can also um, just push OK. You click on a point here. So it's Y. It's at 4.395. Click on this one. It should be a lower number for Y because it's it's lower it's a, a track that's you know lower than this one Let's click on this one and there you go 0.917 so hopefully that made some sense to everybody that is going to watch this and if you have any questions you can send me an email at uh, josh at joshjohnsonfilms.com